How's everybody? Fantastic. So this is the recruiting mastery. So let's talk about a little bit about recruiting. Who does to recruit? You know, we've taught a lot of people to recruit, I mean, massively, especially cold recruiting, because a lot of people are afraid of cold recruiting. Who's afraid of cold recruiting? Talking to people you don't know, right? A lot of you are afraid of the word no, like you've heard before from other people, right? A lot of you have been just afraid to go out there and really project something toward changing your lifestyle. How many of you, my friends, hate the word no? Many of you, right? Check this out. A lot of people, my friends, when we are working, the more you go out there and look to conquer them, the more success you will have. How many of you, my friends, every single time you go out there, you hear no more often than more, right? Can you guys say no? Louder. 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 I'm coming at you with a project. Say no. Coming at you with a project. Say no. Coming at you with a project. Say no. Did it hurt? Then what are you guys worried about? Now see, my friends, here's the deal. A lot of people make the mistake of just worrying about the minimal things that happen in your life. You got to look for your why. What makes you want to change what you want to do? Now see, my friends, take a look at this. My why. My why has changed throughout my career. At the age of 16, I started network marketing. By the time I was 18, I bought my first house cash. By the time I was 20, I made my first million dollars a year. When I was 25, I made $5 million a year. Last year, we closed with over eight figures. How many want to make that kind of money? But your why has to be strong enough for you to obtain it. How many of you, my friends, have a why that's strong? Say I. Check this out, my friends. Like I said, my why has changed throughout my life. My last one taught me a lesson that you've never could imagine. Seven years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Gastric cancer phase four. I was given six months more of life left. At this point, we were launching a company. I had invested everything. How many of you invested everything you have in the project that you have? And you're like hurting right now. Right? And every time I did that, my friends, I was, I was investing everything I had to start this project. I was giving it everything. I, and then they tell you, you're going to die in six months. Now, you have two choices right now. First choice is quit, go sit on a couch, die. Or second, in my mind, the doctors was telling me, you have six months more of life, guess what happened? I stood up off that chair, walked out of that hospital. I wasn't hearing it no more. How many of you have kids? I have kids that I love, family that I love, a wife that I love. When you have these whys, you understand a little bit more. Because this is what happened. God gave me a sign. He said, you have six months to create something that you're going to leave for your family. Six months, whether you're going to be doing nothing, or six months where, you're, where your family is going to owe everything, or six months to break the bank, where you can actually make something happen so they can be fine for the rest of their lives. I went to work. And he kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing every day. My wife and I, door to door, we went in the car, we slept in cars, we did what we had to do. We moved everywhere we needed to do. We recruit, recruit, recruit. At the end, at that six-month period of time, I was feeling good. 
I was feeling fine. My wife is a holistic doctor. So it was feeling phenomenal with the stuff she was handing me. Guess what happened? I forgot that I was going to die. I, I kind of I kinda got scared at the moment, the day. But guess what? I kept going forward. Six years now, it's almost seven years now to the day. We're making it happen. We're filling places like this in this industry that is so awesome. Now there's a big roller coaster of emotion that happens when you go recruiting. I know. There's ups and downs. I know. How many of you, when somebody told you about your project, you were excited? Right? Most of you, you went home and they says, Mom, I have this project. We're going to be rich. How many of you have that? Right? We're going to be rich. We're going to be rich. We're going to do it. And then they tell you one more thing like that again. Don't you have enough brochures from that other last company underneath your bed? Don't you have, the, she opens up the garage door. What about all this product? Who can, who can understand what I'm talking about? Right? And then you're like, little by little, they're cutting you down to the knee, to the floor. You start laying on the floor, you're going, like, why, 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 why? Why did I listen to this guy? You start feeling bad, you start feeling bad. Like, why did I do this? And guess what? And to the point that somebody comes in, he says, what are you doing on the floor? What's going on? Well, I got this stuff that's going to make me better. And this and this and that. And he goes, oh, I have that too. Talk to me. Tell me a little bit more. You start getting up off the floor. You start understanding what you're doing. Somebody wants to listen to you. It, it's rolling you up. But if you keep going up and down this roller coaster, my friends, if you keep leaning to that, it's a first class trip to a heart attack. Right? So as we are pushing along, my friends, to create some magic, to create some wealth, you need to go out there every single day at even kill. You got to understand that every single person, my friends, that we talk about, every single, every single person who we talk, no matter what they say, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, because what? You got to understand, you got to project six months down the line where you're going to be. You got to project one year down. Well, how are you going to be? What are you going to do? And every single time, my friends, we stand there and we look, we look positive. A lot of people forget to smile. How many of you don't smile? I can see most of the room are not even smiling. How many of you have a pen in your hand? Can you raise it up like this? Can you put it in front of you like this? Can you bite it like this? Now turn around and look at each other. Are you smiling? See, the error that most people make, my friends, when you're going out there to recruit, it's not that much of a no. We understand a no. Is that you're repelling people sometimes just by not smiling to people. The attitudes you have. You have to show people, my friends, that you are worthy of them listening to you. How many of you have seen somebody smiling in another car? You're like looking at them like, what's wrong with that person? You seen that person that likes to sing, bobbing his head, he's singing, no music on? Right? I tell you what. Do whatever you can to stop that car. That's going to be your top recruiter. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I, I, I would just bump into the car. Insurance takes care of it anyway. But I'm getting that number. She's positive. She's signing. We got to find positive people in our lifestyles. And I want to leave this with you, my friends. In your lifetime, if somebody gave you six months, two months, one week, what would you lose in your life? What would you do if you knew what your outcome was going to be? If you knew when you were going to die next week, what would you do that you fear doing now? And whatever that is, I want you to put that on the list. Put about 10 just about 10 things you would do right now to better your lifestyle and do it now 
One of the things, my friends, I understand is if you go out there every day looking for no's, you're going to find a yes. And people will love. May God bless you all. And for all my, all everybody who speaks Spanish around the world, mi gente, los amo mucho. Everybody else, los vamos. ¿Te gusta la idea? Vamos con todo.